Good morning, Kindergarten. Miss Rice here with our daily science lesson. Today we're going to continue with our life cycle of a butterfly. Today I'm going to read to you a book about butterflies. The title of this book is Butterflies. And it's by Emily Nay and illustrated by Ron Broda. Illustrated means he's made the pictures. By is the author. Butterflies live all over the world. They are in wonderful backyard gardens. gardens. They are in rainforests far away. You can find butterflies on cold mountains. There's the mountain. And in hot deserts. There's the sand. Butterflies are insects like flies and ladybugs. They have six legs. A body in three parts, the skin that is hard as a shell, and like most insects, butterflies have wings. All right, so here's the butterfly. Here's his body, his head, his legs, antenna. This is also called thorax because it's their body. And remember, it says it's hard as a shell. And here's his wings. And look over here, there's this bee. It's the same thing. She's got a body head, legs, antenna, and wings. So the bee and the butterfly are alike because they have the same body parts. There are more than 20,000 kinds of butterflies. Whew, that's a lot of butterflies. They come in all different colors. Blue and yellow and black and, green and white and green. Beautiful butterflies. Butterflies come in different sizes. The biggest butterfly has wings as wide as a robin's wing. The smallest butterfly is about the size of this picture. It's a little bitty one. Have you ever seen a butterfly this big? But every butterfly starts out the same way. This is what we learned yesterday about metamorphosis. It starts out as a tiny egg. This monarch butterfly just laid one of her eggs on the leaf. A few days later, the egg hatches. Now it is a tiny caterpillar. See the egg hatching up here? And it turns into the caterpillar. All the caterpillar does is eat and rest, eat and rest. It chews up many leaves. It grows and grows. Two weeks go by, now the caterpillar is ready to change. It finds a safe spot on a twig or leaf. It spins a silk pad. It hangs down from that pad. What did we call that pad? A chrysalis, that's right. It looks as if the caterpillar is just resting, but it isn't. Slowly, it sheds its skin. Then it forms a hard shell inside the shell. The caterpillar is changing. All right, so the egg, and then it went to the caterpillar. Now it's making its, its shell, the chrysalis. It's in its cocoon. After about a week, the shell cracks open. Out comes a pretty monarch butterfly. Her wings are wet. She can't fly yet. She must let her wings dry in the sun. Then the monarch flies to a bed of flowers. She is hungry. Butterflies do not eat leaves like caterpillars. They suck sweet juices from flowers. Their tongues work like straws. See their little tongue is sucking the flower, the nectar out of the flower. Some animals like to eat butterflies, but these butterflies are safe. Their wings look like leaves and bark. This bird does not see them. Can you see them? Do you see the... Hmm. I'm not sure. Right there he is. Right there's another one. Are these butterflies? No, they are moths. Moths look a lot like butterflies, but they fly at night. Butterflies fly in the daytime. 
Is this a beautiful butterfly? Yes. You can tell because its wings are closed. When a moth rests, its wings stay open. The summer is ending, fall is on the way. Most butterflies do not like the cold. Some sleep all winter. They find quiet spots, such as a cave or your attic. Other butterflies fly south to warm places. Monarch butterflies fly many, many miles. Clouds of them fill the sky in the spring. They fly back north. There they will lay their eggs. And soon the new butterflies will be here. Maybe some will be in your backyard. So yesterday, we were going to go outside, and we found a caterpillar on the sidewalk. Okay, let's get started on our art activity. This is one of my favorite activities to do. And if we were in school, we would do each step together. But to save a little time, I've already started um, a few of the steps, and I'm just going to walk you through it. And you can do these steps on your own. All right, so we are going to do the life cycle of a butterfly. We know that the life cycle of the butterfly has four stages. Stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. Yes, Shiloh, Shiloh wants to help us. All right, so the first stage is where the butterfly what? You're right, the butterfly lays its eggs. So what we're gonna do is take some glue right here and I have some rice we're gonna take some rice and we're just gonna put some eggs on the glue in the rice it's going to represent our eggs all right so after the butterfly lays the eggs what happens you're right the eggs hatch and they become what a caterpillar so I'm gonna draw so we've got a caterpillar I've already drew my leaf and if we were at school we would be drawing a leaf now and I'm gonna put my noodle on my leaf in my glue for the caterpillar because he kind of looks like a caterpillar all right so after the caterpillar what does he do yes you're right he eats and eats and eats and eats and then he becomes a chrysalis he attaches itself onto a leaf, or here we're going to do our tree limb, and he becomes a chrysalis. And we're going to use a macaroni shell. It kind of looks like he's hanging from the tree. All right, so after he hangs there and. He, he starts changing and he's no longer a caterpillar. He changes into what? You're right, a butterfly. So after he changes in about two weeks, he sheds this shell and he goes to the last stage, which is what? You're right, a beautiful butterfly. And I've got some bow tie noodles that looks like a butterfly. I'm going to put two on here just because... I think they're beautiful. And there you have the life cycle of a butterfly. We have the eggs. The eggs hatch, become a caterpillar. Caterpillar eats and eats and eats, becomes a chrysalis, changes from a caterpillar, and hatches into beautiful butterfly. All right, so if you don't have the shells or stuff around your house, that's fine. You don't have to. You can find anything in your house that you might want to make look like. You can tear some pieces of paper for the egg, and you could do the same thing for everything else. You could do like paper mache where we tore the little paper, we put it into shapes and glued it together. You could use that, or you could just draw the stages like I drew the leaf. So all you'd have to do is draw some eggs on top of the leaf. And then for stage two, you could draw another leaf and draw you a caterpillar on there. And then you could draw 
for the chrysalis, all you'd have to do is draw either a leaf or a stick like I did and just draw an oval for the shell. Or maybe you can use yarn. I don't know. Just be creative. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And then for the butterfly, you can draw a butterfly. Butterflies are beautiful and easy and colorful. So for your um, task for today, your assignment for today, I would love for you to make a life cycle of a butterfly, whether it be with the shells and the, and the rice like I did, or any other material you can find around your house, or if you draw it. I don't care. Just be very creative and have mom and dad send me a picture so that I can see your beautiful work. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day. Go outside and play. It's a little cloudy. It might be a little cool, so you might need a jacket. But enjoy your day, and I will see you back here tomorrow.